So IKEA has released a couple of new products for their Trode Free line, which is a 10 watt and a 30 watt driver. You're going to need a steering device is what they refer to this at the very least to control these and a gateway if you want to use this with Apple HomeKit or Amazon, uh, Madam A, whatever your supported smart home system is. And what it does is it allows you to take the existing IKEA and counter lights and connect this into the driver. So you can really extend this and you can get the countertop lights, the light beams, um, kind of the, the lights that mount on the wall, these light panels, all of that now becomes accessible in your smart home system. So one thing to be aware of is they are going to be controlled all as one single device. You can dim them, but all of them dim or all of them become more bright. Those are your choices. Let's take a look. So before we go to the unboxing, I want to take a quick look at the IKEA site. So of course you've got the light bulbs, which are great. Those will all be exposed. You've got um, motion detectors, dimmers. Those are not exposed to the, the smart home systems still. And then as we go down the page here, you can see we've got all these different light options. Now you may be tempted to believe that those will work directly with Trode Free. You would be wrong. Those all require the driver, which is available in the 10 watt and the 30 watt format. So what does that mean to us? That means you can have up to three of these lights connected to the 10 watt and up to nine to the 30 watt, right? So if you were to go in to click onto these pages, what you will be see is, okay, there's a light. It's a nice light. You might love it. You might not. But to be completed with LED driver and power cold cord sold separately, really important to note. Now let's go do the unboxing. So you can see here, we've got the 10 watt driver and we'll pull this out quick. This is just it's just a little light driver here. You can see that we've got the plug on the one side that is sold separately. That's the Ansluta. And you've got three inputs here for your three little lights. So this is it. You're just going to buy any of the other lights, um, the versions kind of the, on, on the web page. You're going to connect them into this. And this little box becomes the control. If you're looking at the 30 watt, you can see this is a little bit larger here, right? It does not exclude the power cable. So make sure you pick one of those up. Right, this is 30 watt and includes the driver itself. Um, in the case of the 30 watt, as we'll see, the, the little thing that you're gonna connect the lights to, the nine here, this is actually a separate unit that's attached into the driver. Um, the power cable is exactly the same for both units, which is nice. So looking at some of the options here, um, you've got the An Sluta, no idea if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm sure somebody will correct me. The power cable. Again, this is just the standard IKEA for these drivers. So that's why it's sold separately. And these are some of the options that I picked up to test this out. The um, Omelop, the Norfly, um, and of course the Omelop power um, or light, light bar is what I will call this. Right, so just some other options to kind of show you guys what is capable here. Uh, these are not really available in any other HomeKit capable lights. So having some different kind of custom unique shapes, it's kind of cool. So for this to work, we're gonna have to add this directly to the Trode Free application here. And when you click on that add accessories here, you see you get a new option, which is that driver. It's gonna ask you what device you want to use as the steering device. So I will select the, uh, the appropriate steering device here. And then we basically follow the instructions. We're going to hold it down, make sure it's already connected, make sure it's close to that, the linking icon there, hold it down for 10 seconds and we should see something happen. Um, the lights will start to flicker. There we go, there's some lights flicker in there. And then we should see in the application that this should pretty much connect. This does take a couple of seconds. You can see that the, the actual um, light itself is controllable now. And we're just gonna wait till the application catches up. So I did cut out a little bit of the video here to be able to get this um, closer, but you'll see the device eventually was found. As soon as the remote is connected, it just requires that time to sync. There's still apparently some things to be worked out on the um, Trode Free firmware, but it definitely does work. Perfect, the driver is now connected. Um, awesome, we can rename it if we want. I highly suggest doing that. It's pretty uh, pretty annoying to have everything called light bulb one, light two, light three, etc. Once we click OK, we're going to be able to go down and figure out what group this is actually assigned to. Now, um, I never use the remote controls for my IKEA. I just basically have one that I assign all my lights to, which is group three, as you can see. So I got a bunch of these in here, the last one being the driver. Of course, I can use the Trode Free application. I can turn it on or off. I can dim them all back and forth, right? Again, every light that you plug into this, either all three or all nine in the case of the 30 watt, is going to 
brighten or dim at the same time. You have no individual control of the various lights you connect to this. So that's really important to understand. So as we'll see in a couple of uh, minutes, we're also going to do the home app and this is going to be exposed as a single accessory. So even though you plug nine into this, you're still going to see one accessory in um, your Madam A, your Amazon Echo app, or of course in your HomeKit app. So you can see here we've got one driver at the bottom. We want to make sure we get our, our updates and that the um, code is at the newest version. So we have the cleanest version of code and let's go to the home app. So we're going to have to go to wherever we put the gateway device. So in my case, um, I don't exactly remember where that is at this point in time. So I'm going to go find a light that I do know happens to be connected to the Trode Free Gateway. And then I can get back. So this is kind of a little bit of a back door, right? So I've got the garage and it actually looks like it's in the garage. I don't want it there. I want it in my office. So we're going to go into the HomeKit device itself. You can see it's a Trode Free transformer. It's a 30 watt. That's the, the name of the driver. The cool part about HomeKit, again, this is why we use it, is the user experience is exactly the same controlling um, this Trode Free driver as it is for my regular IKEA lights, my Life X lights, my Nano Leaf lights, my Philips Hue lights. All of them are exactly the same user experience, which is really what makes this great. So let's take a look at how this actually works. I've got these installed on my desk here, and you can see that all of it kind of is controlled as one and up and down. And again, the shapes here, this is just not something you could get, especially at the price point that you can pick these things up at Ikea in um, any other way. So I've done my desk in these. I've got the 10 watt and the 30 watt. The 10 watt I actually used in my son's room. I had a light literally rip out of the wall. So you can see a little bit of the damage there. Um, this was a really straightforward, simple installation, and it gives him lots of light to be able to do his homework at nights, which is, you know, that's what he's looking for. And with that, that's pretty much the end. It's a nice little um, extension to what the IKEA Trode Free line already offers. It is HomeKit compatible. It is um, Amazon, uh, the Madame Aya compatible. Big drawback here is there's no color versions available and they're all controlled as a single accessory, at least for today, right? Maybe IKEA will come out something in the future. What do you guys think of these? Um, is this something you would consider using in your own house, kitchen, desk, um, accent lighting? Let me know. Likes and subscribes are always appreciated. And if you want to learn how to make your house just a little bit smarter using Apple HomeKit, please check out my Udemy course. There's a um, coupon code in the video details below.